How's it going, everybody? Bobby Wan here, playing another cursed horror game. This one's called Don't Open Your Eyes. So far, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Maybe a little bit of analog horror? Maybe some jump scares? Hence atmosphere? So it says it's a narrative story, so that's good. Guess I'll be reading for you today. Well then, let's get into it. Dark. I was really liking that intro music. It was super cool. Reminded me of 80s horror movies. Oh yeah, nice room. Dot, dot, dot. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Yeah, why not? Oh, your room is sketchy as hell. I don't like that. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against snow. Yeah, you're telling me. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. Kind of creepy. But not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound. <laughs> the night is just oddly... Quiet. Quiet. That's good. That means you can get a good sleep. Right? When it's super quiet. Too quiet? Yeah, that's true, actually. I get the best sleeps when it's raining. Oh, something moved. What was it? Feel restless. Oh, was it just you? Did you roll over? My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. I can't even see the door or the hallway. I know where it is. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps along. I've known since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings. Smallest deep. Yeah, I think lots of people are like that. It'd be weird if I was living in a place and then like a month later, you find something that you didn't know was even there. Was this basement door always here? But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. That's what I was saying, it looks so dark, I can't even see the wall anymore. Logical thinking cries that is just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. Just a hallway. But. For what? Get up and go look then. I don't want to look at it. Look at it, dude. Show me what's there. Is there, an, is there an analog monster coming to take you? Is there a ghost? So I take a deep breath. Close my eyes. Alright. His eyes are closed. It's dark. In my room. What the? That's trippy. There's a bed. Oh, everything's turning into like a drawing. In my room. Yep, there's your closet. There's a wardrobe. In my room. Yeah, there's the pictures that I was seeing on the wall. There's pictures framed on the wall. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like that. My room is a part of myself. Yeah, so there's a computer in there too. Video games in there too. It's a world I know, like the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, I have my eyes closed, no different. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Do you though? Really? Is something gonna happen? I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Aren't you already? Aren't you like dreaming right now? <laughs> Why else? Oh, here's something. Dot dot dot. Something's out in the hallway. I can hear it beep, bumping. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's getting louder. Hello? 
Is anyone there? What's that sound? You fucking tell me. Those footsteps? And it sounds more like banging. Like someone's locked in your cupboard or something. Can I click on it? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Yes, I can't click the background. It just skips forward. Well, something's coming. But it's getting closer. Uh-oh. And closer. Uh-oh. And closer. Where's it coming from? The hall? And closer. Maybe it's just the ghost of your dad. <laughs> He's... They are gone. Right. There's no way someone could be here. Well, if it's this dark, how do you know? All you can, all you can see is a sketchy outline of your room. Huh? Someone's there? I don't know what in the fuck that is. Hey, buddy. What's up? Um, Dad, is that you? Open your eyes. My eyes are open, dude. You're scaring the shit out of me. What? Who are you? No. I don't open my eyes. I refuse, beast. I will never open my eyes. Never again. Open your eyes. No. Look. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? I refuse to. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Yes, it's the middle of the night. And you is look that like how it is. Yes, it is. You, you fucking weirdo. I'm just trying to sleep. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Old. I will share a secret with you. Don't. I don't want to know. I have never seen myself. Um, that's because you're a weird analog monster, and every day you take a new form. Am I right? I don't know if my face is ugly. I bet you it's beautiful, just- I don't know the color of my skin. Um, well, from this, you're an alien, so you're gray. I don't <laughs> know if I'm even here. You're not here. I can just hear you, but I can't see you. I refuse to that open my eyes. I need you to open your eyes. Nope, I won't. So you can tell me how I look. No. But I'm also shy, so I okay. might hide the moment you do. Oh. That way I lost me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Okay, that's weird. Like a faded dream. Mm-hmm. I know you're not asleep. <laughs> how do you know? You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Hey, if my ears are tiny, so that means you don't look anything like me. But do you even have ears? They look so fragile. Hey. Don't, don't call my ears fragile, you jerk. Look, I could almost grab them. Don't touch my ears. I feel something caress my ear. Put Ew. my fingers around them. Why are you being all gross about it, dude? Ew. Don't touch me. Don't tear them. Don't, don't tear my ear off. Thank you very much. Do, do you scream? Uh, no. I hear your voice. No, you won't. I won't talk. I won't open my eyes. It was a joke. Really? I'm joking. No, you're not. You're gonna. Don't be scared. You're gonna pull my fucking ears off, aren't you, you weirdo? Hey. Hey. How do you think my eyes look? I bet you they're big black. Empty holes. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? I'll find the end of my life, most likely, as you absorb my soul and turn me into another monstrosity. Answer me. No. They look broken, they look empty, they look, yeah, empty. Broken. Yeah, that's another good way of saying it, but I'd say empty. They look empty. They look empty. Yep, they're empty. Nothing there. They're just, oh god. Yeah, that's about it. That's exactly what I expected. Maybe so. The eyes are the window to the soul. Oh, so you don't have a soul now. That's that what is. someone told me long ago. Okay. They said that the soul was holy. Yeah, true, I guess. Bright. Yeah. Beautiful. Like the ever beams of a sun. 
Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. The, do you? If that person said I was the exception. You don't have a soul? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. You can't own a, a whole a holy soul? Is that it? That's awful. So bright. So is that why you're so dark? So beautiful. Are you a demon? No, demons have souls, right? <laughs> what would a soulless thing be? They I have no idea. Inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Great fatigue, you say? Their oh, eyes, all right. eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. Hmm. So you're a soulless I'm sure thing. That if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. You don't even have blood? Okay, so you're, what are you, a doll? Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. Hmm. This is. Okay, so you, there's no way you're a person. I've never seen myself before. Because you don't have real eyes. You're a strange doll monster. Because I'm empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? No! That would be awful. Why would you want to be empty all the time? Because if I were to look. Find nothing there. Yeah? What about it? Then surely I would feel disappointed. Mmm. Well, if you already know, why would you feel disappointed? By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. Sure. I, I guess, but that's like the that's the worst conclusion ever. You ignore it so it doesn't exist? Mmm. So maybe this is for the best. Not. Uh, not for the best. Take a look. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. I don't know. Nor the second. Nor the third. Hmm. Nor the okay. several others who came after. So you clearly have talked with many people. The only thing I remember... You haunt people? ...is that they looked as empty as I did to them. So are you, like, from another dimension or something? Hey. Hey. Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Mm, I haven't felt that empty, that's for sure. That you've embraced the void as your own? Nope. I don't think I've ever been there. Not yet. Have you? Nope. I remain silent. These eyes... Are these... My eyes? Mmm, yes? Good answer. Okay. Yeah, there is only one way to know the truth. You gonna pull your eyes out? Open your eyes. Open my eyes? No. So you won't look at me. I refuse. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Yeah, how do you know? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Ew, what are your weird descriptions, my guy? Round Okay. And shiny like jewels. How do you, how do you know it's so, shiny? So pretty. What if I have really dark eyes? Some people got super dark eyes, you know. A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. Don't breathe in my eyes. We still have time. Do we? Well, you're keeping me up. Still and silent. Oh, you're keeping me up all night. I'm supposed to be up early. This is awful. A jerk. Wrong with you. Your weird, jiggly, empty People eyes. are good at closing their doors. Well, yeah, no shit. Do you know what a door is? Of course you know. Talking about a, an actual door or some, like, metaphor? Like a door to the soul? You have one right there at the verge of your little world. Okay, a real a door. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Yeah, so how did you get in here? The bad can be anything. A bad person. Smell and sometimes yeah. me. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I had I my door. Open doors. God damn it! So just because I didn't, I didn't close my door. You were allowed to come in. I find them tricky. Should uh, I push or pull? Should I, I turn the knobs left, or right? Should I try to take it off its hinges? Yeah, that's what you should do. You should tear the door off should the hinges. Sure. Treat it like a jail cell, why not? What happens when it opens? You go inside and harass. Close it behind me. 
Yeah, that's that's common courtesy, the ghostly I man. Open, but that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Yeah, so why aren't you closing my door, you fucking weirdo? Then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? I don't know. You tell me. So many options. Okay. So many things I could go wrong. Yeah, just just open and close the door like a regular human being, you fucking alien. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Okay, so you gotta be some kind of like de demonic spirit or something. I stare at it for Your a Your soul long is, time. you got empty eyes, you can't open doors, but you're here harassing me in the middle of the night. Hmm. And think of my excuses. Alright. Because that's all they are. What yeah. bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. What? The existence of closed doors ruins my life. To keep me out. Keep it everything. Me with the need to go in. You are one strange so I demon. For a crevice or a window. Okay. Anything that might be open. Yeah, okay. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. You go through windows? Fair enough, I guess. As long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. That you can fit? But what, can you turn into a gas or something? Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Are you just a shadow man? I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Okay. My internal search, I pick a place where to rest. Alright. slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Man, you are some strange Usually thing. It's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Are you a shadow demon? I feel at home there. Okay. But sometimes, just sometimes, it sometimes? Urge swells inside of me. Uh oh, what kind of urge? The urge to be seen. Oh, this is why you're harassing me. So I search hard. You just want someone to see you. Door that's open. Entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake. This is why you're harassing me. Expecting me. I was not you expecting. Look you. at me. No, I will not look at. You. Even though you had your door open for visitors, I still won't look at you. Why is that? Because I'm trying to sleep. Afraid. No, I'm tired. Do I scare you? Actually, a little bit. You're you're pretty fucking weird. No, that can't be it. You we sure? Been chatting for so long. Yeah, I guess so. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. Or I'm just trying to ignore you, you strange dude. So I'm demon. certain that if I were to reach out my hand, something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. Can I grab his hand? So very warm. Because people are always warm. Yeah, true. Hey. Hey. How do my hands look? When mm. my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Terrifying. Answer me. Disgusting. They look tired. They look deceitful. They look incomplete. Yeah. They look incomplete. Ew. Yeah, that... That may be so. It seems about right. This is like bones sticking out. It's a little gross. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. You've lost your fingers? Ew. I have left people behind. Okay. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. Hmm, so are you a friendly demon? Like, what's going on? Are you going to try to kill me? Have you killed these chat companions, or are you just looking for new ones? So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. I, nah, I don't think that's how it works, but alright. Such as skin. Ew. Or flesh. Or bones. Or anything that makes me, me. A little gross there, buddy. Yes. Farewell gifts, you could say. You just leave chunks of yourself in these people. I come and talk with people. I chop my finger off and leave it under their bed. 
You are one strange ass entity. It sounds like an excuse. Yeah, kind of. And that's because it is. Yeah. Because I am careless and overly curious. Makes sense. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Is that why your hands are all destroyed? Because you keep touching all the saws and blades and fire? Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. True. But sometimes I find something else. Like what? Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. That's what I was just saying. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Ew. That's kind of gross. Does that feel? You want to touch burnt people now? So I put my hands to the fire. Mm. It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there for long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. You let your hands get burnt? The smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Ew, dude, that's super gross. So you have a corporeal form obviously so you can't be a ghost maybe you're some sort of shadow demon that really enjoys torture and when i take them out the feeling persists with okay. a horrible but intoxicating feeling and i seek such extreme sensations e extreme pain the edge of a knife sometimes provides it no other times the fangs of a beast what is wrong Most with you? Times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. Then okay, what? You punch it? Let all the spikes go in your hand? my hands there as I traverse along it. Leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. Gross. Wrong with you. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. No, it's pretty different, dude. It sounds like you like to torture yourself. That's pretty the fucked fire up. Fire and the blades are friends. No, they're not. Fire and blades are not they have friends. Granted me times of great fun. Okay. Well, glad you enjoyed it, weirdo. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. I'm not leaving nothing. I'm trying to sleep. Leave me alone. There's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. What? That nobody wants to look at you? They're always painful. I'd rather they weren't. You're always in pain when you're trying to talk to somebody? Hey. Hey. Have you ever placed yourself in harm's way? No, I haven't. Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. No. Have you? No. I remain silent. These hands. Are. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. I'm not touching them. Open your eyes. And I'm not opening my eyes. No. Refuse. So you won't look at me? No, I won't. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Don't care. Think about it. No. Better not be chopping my fingers up, you fucking snitch. Maybe you and I are similar. Are you just my sleep paralysis demon and you're taking over my body and torturing me right now? Is that what's going on? No. I know we are. Are you my subconscious or something? I can feel it. In my skin. Gross. Heartbeat. Oh. Can you hear it? Yeah. I hear a heartbeat. My skin is... pulsating. I don't think it's pulsating, dude. I think that's your heart. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Well, I wander the world, wanting to be seen. Okay. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But I'm telling you, I'm just not looking. <laughs> it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Hey, I'm trying to help here. I just also Since refuse I to show myself to everyone at once. I refuse to look. Every living person in this Mask land. Goes. And ask them all the same question. Yeah. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. Be sure? What if you're just that disgusting, scary that everybody just runs away? But it 
might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged. You don't want to be judged? I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. Okay. It scares me. Yeah, I guess that scares a lot of people. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But okay. you might be different. Yeah, if I'll try. You, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. Yeah, I want to see. That way you can help me. Yeah. And we can both be fulfilled. Why would this fulfill me? I just have a terrifying vision in my mind for the rest of my life that looked at a demon. Just thinking about it, it makes me feel. You're, you're feeling? Huh? Feel. His heart is beating again. Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good with words. I don't know. You're you've been pretty good at this so far. You're talking my ear off here, there bud. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Okay. But they were not good at it either. Yeah, you do kind of talk like L from Death Note or something, but <laughs> I can still understand you. And they can <laughs> back on it. They certainly didn't enjoy it. Somebody didn't enjoy teaching to you to speak? A wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yeah, I'm assuming that would be pretty damn hard. But they did. Cool. Simply because they could. Yeah? It is weird to remember. It's weird to because remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. Why? So you can know what you are? And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. Yeah, go live in a sewer somewhere, you- So why is it? The fucking thing is just weird. Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I don't know. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Well, what are you? Once okay. you open your eyes. I won't open my eyes yet. There it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. And Ooh. you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear. Okay, I call you Satan. <laughs> it makes me feel. Yeah. But I don't know what. It makes you feel. It would be evident if you were to look at my face. I don't want to hey, though. Hey. What does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? I'm assuming you have no mouth. Answer me. Cheerful smile? It's a surprised grimace? It's an emotionless stare. Yeah, that seems... Seems mostly... Yeah, I could give him a cheerful smile. Huh. It's a surprised grimace. An emotionless stare. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's emotionless. This guy's weird and he doesn't even know how to feel emotion. He keeps saying, I feel something. Yeah. An emotionless stare. Yep. You're like a gray alien. <laughs> that face is great. Maybe so. I love it. Expressions are difficult. He looks like a one of those voodoo dolls. <laughs> Shit. No eyes. No fucked up hands. Sewed up mouth. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. Yeah, it's not that hard, dude. I am not capable. Then what are you? about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. It is something I noticed long ago. Are you a... I may hurt and I may grow. You hurt and you... But I do not change. You must be just some fucked up person, right? I, like, I, in the way other I'm so do. confused. People interact with each other. Yep. They form connections. Experience thrills. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. I wouldn't go that far. Maybe each passing hour or day. Turning old and perishing. Hey man, don't 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 tell me about turning old. I don't want to hear about that. I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. You don't age? Don't get old? But you said you grow. My journey began long ago. How long ago? Than any person has ever journeyed. Okay. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. Okay, then you... You gotta be something weird. Are you... Some sort of doll that's possessed? You're not a person. Could be a monster or a demon. Or maybe you're even just an analog demon. Yeah, this guy's just an analog mom. This is how he tricks everybody to look at him. Then they get turned into something. Born and die. Yep. A person's existence is so fleeting. Yes, it is. You only get so many years. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. Well, that's the, that's the, the point of life. Make as many beautiful memories as you can. It is something I lack. You don't have any memories? Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. Wait, see. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Okay, so you just kind of wander around aimlessly forever? Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same. Okay. Blending with each other into a mottled gray. True. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. A little, a little Perhaps deep there. If someone else had lived what I had. Ow, how could somebody live from what you're describing hundreds of years? They would see meaning. I don't know. They would treasure it. Mm, maybe. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. Well, you're trying to get me to look at you, so that must be worth something, right? And by extension, and what I am. I'm starting to think you're just a weird monster. I want for someone to tell me how I look. Maybe you are just a doll. Like, this is too weird. Yet, I don't see that as important. You don't, you've been bothering me to look at you all this time, and you don't think it's important. Don't lie to me. Why should you care? But that doesn't mean I have never felt hmm. I feel things. What do you feel? When he had like ten heartbeats this whole conversation. Joy, sorrow, fear. Oh, so you have emotions. What do you know? I am always feeling. And right now. Heartbeat. I am feeling strongly. Feeling what? It's here in my pulsating skin. Ew, stop describing it like that. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. Yep. And if you say so, it must be true. Yep. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey. Hey. Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Yeah, I've definitely done that. Only to hide the over. Overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's everybody's teenage years, just saying. <laughs> have you? Yes, yes I have. I remain silent. This expression... Is this... My expression? Yes. I see. Is. Thank you. You have truly... Helped me tonight. Have I? Do you These look... are my eyes. Do you look pretty fucked up? These... Are my hands. Especially the hands. And this is my expression. Yeah? I consider these my most treasured features. Well, then what are you? And you have helped me picture them all. Uh, no one uh, has no done problem? this for me. I feel a connection with you. You're not going to kill me then, right? One born out of honest gratitude. Good, then be my friend and don't kill me. But there's one step left. You what? need to make sure. Open your. Mm. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Okay, right here, switching this. No. 
Definitely don't open my eyes. This ends the game every time. No. Use to open my eyes. No. I see. I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. Okay, good. You can leave? No. That is a lie. <laughs> what do you, what do you Ever want? Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. <laughs> yep, damn right I have. Not even once. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. Jeez, are you okay there, bud? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Won't open them, I refuse. Not even once. Did you look at my face? I will not look at your face. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. I am asleep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. Damn right. Leave me alone. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. How do you know? But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Listening to my thoughts? And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. Okay. That's why I know. What do you know? That I wasn't wrong. About what? You are like me. Oh no. We are the same. You better not be. You too. Look for what's not there. Yes. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. I hope not. And you too are a liar. I'm a liar? How dare you? The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. Did I? What mistake? I mean engaging with you? I know you're lying. I'm not lying about nothing. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Uh-oh. You sure? I am not what you said I am. These what are you? eyes, these hands, this expression. Yeah? So then what are you? Let me see. I wanna see. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. Hmm. But I do not care. Okay. Not anymore. You strange thing. You're trying to steal, steal my appearance? Is that what's going on? Open your eyes. You gonna let me now? I don't know. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. Makes sense. Nobody does. And that's all you did. Oh, no. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? Did I? That in this room, you know how everything looks. Hey, you were reading my thoughts. It was those words that brought me here. So yeah. you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. All right. It is time. Open your eyes. Oh no, I can't click yes or no. Open All right. Your eyes. Jiggle voice at me. Open your Eyes! Can I open my eyes? Can I save quick? Yes. You had your chance. It's not up to you. Anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. What? Something coils around my head? The pressure around my skull is unbearable. Ew. Cracking. Hear something shatter? Break my eyelids off? Ah. Uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Are they? Tell me, my new friend. Okay. What do you see? I don't know. I don't see anything. I want to answer. But they've grabbed into my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is, what I see. 
Oh. Oh. What the flying fuck is that? It's the analog monster. Come to get me. I close my eyes. That won't do. You making me look again? Open your eyes. Oh no. Open them. Ow, are you like tearing my head off? I think this thing is, uh, killing me. <laughs> yeah, I oh, think I'm no. dead. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? Oh. You can't talk anymore, right? Oh. You can't think anymore, right? Oh. Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you were a liar. <laughs> but I you killed this me! this piece of myself here with you. What the? This thing just killed me? I must go. I must look for the right person. This is this what you Someone do? Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. Okay, so am I dead? Yeah, I think I'm dead. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? Feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Oh no. Okay, let's try the other ending. You had your chance. It's not up to you. You won't open your eyes. Same ending? I will. Yeah, same ending. Alright. Well, this was definitely a little bit spooky and a little strange, that's for sure. That ending was pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed that. This was a tense story. Pretty, pretty neat, though. I enjoyed it. Definitely had that analog horror vibe, but it also just had creepy ghost story demon vibes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I watched a weird B movie. Very fun. Super cool. Hopefully you had a little bit of spooky fun here with me today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe for more. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out.